Hi Leo, this is going to be your art channeled message in tarot reading. I channel messages through art. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Anyone is welcome, even cross watchers are welcome. But without further ado, what I started drawing for you was a car. Then I kept drawing and it wasn't the main vehicle, but the secondary. It's a camper, like one of those small ones you hook to the back of a truck or a main vehicle. This is heavy chariot energy. It's like the camper is hooked to a fairy, which is the magical creature with wings. They can move, but not like a car can. It's like you are the chariot, the magical creature. It's almost like you're telling people where to go because yes, the camper is moving, but not without the engine in the other one. Not without the brains, not without the power to move is what I got. Then I, then I just got the power to move millions. You have the power to move millions. Also, the ferry looks like it's going up a hill, and it's not easy to carry things up a hill that steep. It's not easy to move millions. For some reason, I'm even seeing you're responsible to care and uplift someone or many individuals. I'm seeing a nursing assistant or a living aid, those that assist the elderly or those with disabilities. They aren't weak in a bad way, it's just they need help moving around or nav navigating through basic tasks. I feel like that's someone's actual job. So you are appreciated in the field you're in. I'm seeing a lovely caretaker. So you make others feel secure and safe, even if you aren't a caretaker literally. That's just what the traits you take on or are taking on right now. It's like, you can't get up the hill, I'll help you up the hill. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest though, I get Peter Pan too. Tinkerbell was evident here. She was very sassy, but she obviously helped out a bit. I'm seeing that part where she was basically dying from a lack of attention. She became weak and very frail, no energy. Peter Pan centers around not wanting to grow up. There's a fear of an outcome. It's like you, the chariot, the magical being, or T Tinkerbell, is losing power. You're carrying everyone else around, or should I say caring for, <laughs> caring for everyone else around. This chariot energy revolves around being attentive in some way. Eventually cars break, they need repairs, they need to look after themselves. Just like people age, so do cars and objects. They become weak, they break. <laughs> Anything needs repairs, just like we do. Eventually they break, or they reach a certain mileage. That's really funny considering the char chariot. So how far are you willing to go is the question here. It's almost like you want to never grow up, just like Peter Pan, and I believe that's called Peter Pan Syndrome. I feel like this is an extra tidbit of info. You fear the future or what being an adult entails, or perhaps the responsibility it entails. You feel very responsible for other people right now. I don't know why. Could just be your job or you, f for some reason you feel like that's your job and it's not your job. You know what I mean? You just don't want all these responsibilities to carry around with you. And I'm not seeing it in a bad way, like, oh, all these people are burdens. Not that. More so, you need to look after yourself before you hit that mileage. Or before you fall apart. It's just you always gotta take time to take care of yourself. And I feel like that's what you're trying to do, or that's what you should do, so. Let's see, I'm gonna get a card. <laughs> that Tinkerbell thing I saw was so funny. 
she's like passing out from a lack of attention. So maybe it feels like you're not getting attention, but you give everyone else attention. Trying to get someone's attention and they don't seem to get it. They just want your energy, your attention. And as a result, it makes you very scared for the future. Is this what adulting is? Is this what I have to do for the rest of my life? <laughs> Let's see. Cards aren't coming out. Hmm, there's resistance. Oh, that one's sliding out. Take that. Gateway. And what gets me about this? is unicorns are also magical creatures, but a very different magical creature. You, the fairy, or the chariot, the one that's guiding people, it's like you're guiding people through the gateway. You're trying to tell people where to go, what their path is, or what the right path is. I'm still getting that nursing energy. Like you have to help elderly or those with disabilities find their way or help them do their tasks. But then for, uh, for some of you, I'm seeing you're actually just doing all of someone's work. It's like you're them. You're the main vehicle and then they're the secondary. <laughs> they're not necessarily in charge of their own life. So you're showing them the way, showing them the gateway. Or I might also got the gateway to success. You might be the reason they're successful or still on their feet. <laughs> it's like you bring the magic or the fairy dust. <laughs> this is perfect. Unicorns are magical too. I'm even seeing whoever you're helping is magical too. They just don't see it. They can't, they can't do it for themselves but they have the potential to. I think that's what you're trying to show somebody. Like, you can get up that hill too. It looks very, you can barely see it on the card, but there's light. You know how light reflects off of things and it looks like a sparkle? I know diamonds sparkle. It looks like the unicorn is running to the light very attracted to the light that light could bring a lot of healing so maybe this unicorn is attracted to you because you both are magical it's a perfect word for this magical but Tinkerbell needs attention too not just the unicorn Let's see Three of Wands. I'm getting you're waiting for your turn. Cause it looks like he's waiting for someone to come in. It's about the ships coming in. Or the person. Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're waiting for your turn. Was it when is it my turn to rest? When is it my turn to repair myself, to guide myself? Because I feel like you're definitely putting your dreams or your needs on the back burner. For somebody else that can do it themselves. Okay, I'll take that. I'm getting too, you're, you're rushing to someone's aid. I feel like this is someone waiting for you, and then this is you dropping everything to tend to them. I'm seeing that scene from The Parent Trap where she had that bell, and she rung it. <laughs> where she rung it, and she's like, okay, Jesse, come here. I need, I need something. I need food. It's like someone treats you like a maid. This ring the bell, and you're there.
overall energy the tower i feel like this is you remember how i said cars need repairs this is you finally needing repairs it's like you're gonna hit a breaking point where you're gonna be too tired or something might hit you like a sickness could be mental exhaustion whatever it is i feel like you are unable to take on that ten of wands with everybody like you used to the tower and with this hermit, as soon as I looked at it, I thought of Tinkerbell again. Because remember I said she was losing her light? She was becoming very weak, even though she was very magical before. She could also be sassy when she feels like she's not getting the attention she needs. I feel like this is what the hermit is. You feel very isolated. You feel like no one's there to come to your rescue. <laughs> and that's the little bit of light. The little bit of energy you have left. And you, you have to find it again. You're trying to find it. It's like, where did it go? I had it a minute ago. <laughs> but now I need repairs. Now I need to look after myself. Oh, and here's the devil, see? To me? Obviously, this isn't a devil sacrifice, literally, but it's like you need to make, or you were making sacrifices against your own will. And sacrifices, sacrifices aren't always good. Sacrifices can mean putting your needs aside and taking care of others. And that, that can be a very toxic, low vibrational pattern. This is very powerful to me too. It's like you're definitely exerting all of your energy into this. You, th you think you have an infinite supply or you don't you can't reach your breaking point it's almost like you feel like you're you're immortal you are in this immortal energy but magical beings can lose their light or get their light taken advantage of and also I'm seeing like this whoever this is that needs your help they definitely have the ability to this this isn't I'm not talking about the part about like you being a doctor or take, looking after people. I'm seeing this as someone else that doesn't and is just sort of ringing their bell expecting you to drop everything and come help them. And this is in the end portion, basically, next to the overall energy. And this is a very powerful card you get for that. So I feel like something's gonna happen to you where you'll be the one that needs the caretaker you need to be the one that's <laughs> the secondary vehicle being pushed up the hill because you're going to need help so like or some of you could have been injured have something happen to you where you're immobile somehow and now you need another magical creature <laughs> to help you but something tells me you're not going to have that help or you don't actively have that right now and you're trying to find it yourself but i think you are because the light isn't gone you never lose your light. I feel like you're the type of person, Leo, that will never lose their light. Like, you're the sun. The sun is very bright. The sun never disappears. You will never lose that light. It might become weaker, but I feel like you're definitely trying to get that energy back. I'm definitely seeing someone that thinks they're immortal, thinks things can never happen to them, thinks they never need anybody, but I think you do. You're going to need somebody because I feel like something is happening. And even the most magical people, or even the most independent people, need somebody at some point. This is really sad. I feel like this is you waiting, waiting for help, waiting for someone to see it. But then this is how it ends. I did say Peter Pan syndrome. It's like you never want to grow up. You fear what an adulting or getting older entails because of how it's going now. I feel like some of you actually revert back to your childhood when life gets 
out of hand or when life falls apart, when things happen the way you don't expect them to. And Peter Pan syndrome can actually be a bad thing. It's most commonly found in people that I don't want to say man children, could be women children, people just that just don't act their age. And I was saying someone has the ability to do things themselves and they don't want to. So that could be this person has Peter Pan syndrome. Actually, I'm going to get a different deck to sum up this reading because we're at 15 minutes. What do we have here for like future? Any other extra info? What do we have? Buy the book. Remember how I said you you lead people out of the darkness. You're a bit of a you're very in this attentive energy. You're the chariot, but in a way where you're leading people, you're telling them where to go. And that's good, you're a leader, you should be proud of that. <laughs> you have this energy to you that you'll never lose your light. Your light attracts people. But that can easily become overwhelming because it's a huge responsibility. And sometimes when you're responsible for so many people, that can be bad because as soon as you lead them, some of you could even be blamed for certain things that happen in someone's life. Because you're the leader, you're responsible for everything. No. You're not responsible for every single thing that happens to somebody. It's like you can lead the horse to the water, but you are never responsible for things they choose to do or the outcome because they can assert themselves. They can use that natural energy. They're a unicorn. You're a fairy. Two magical, powerful creatures even though you're different. I feel like too, someone's trying to follow your path or have you teach them what you're doing, but they're two separate paths. And this is number two as well. So you see, it's someone trying to follow your path to help themselves, but it just gives them a dead end because that's not what they're meant to do. They need to figure out what works for them, what coping mechanisms work for them. And they can figure that out. So I think the advice here, or the moral of the story is, maybe try to divert away from that leader role, because sometimes there's, there's a darkness to that where you become the one to blame or the one that's responsible for others' downfalls just because you led them there. Just because you lead someone doesn't mean they actually have to follow you everywhere. It's very codependent. They're all very close to each other. Oh, and you know how elephants sort of hook themselves onto each other like that? It's very, very clingy. Like someone doesn't know how to deal with themselves without someone else. And they, they for sure can. So if you're dealing with someone in your life that you know has potential, but you feel like they're a little too dependent on you, maybe maybe it's time. Like this is even in the end here, next to the overall energy. Maybe it's time to break away from them. Have them discover themselves, because I feel like they will eventually. And it's time for you to find your energy again, because it's like you need repairs. <laughs> I feel like something's gonna happen where you're gonna hit your breaking point, where you're gonna need rest, where you're gonna be tired, where you're not gonna have any light anymore. The light's still there. You're the sun. Come on. But if you don't look after yourself now, you'll regret it later. And the future doesn't have to be something that you can't look forward to just because things are like this right now. 
If you're carrying on too much, speak up. Because you got to take care of yourself as well. Okay, Leo, that's the end of your reading. Please like, subscribe, support the channel in any way you can. And don't be afraid to switch the roles. You don't always have to be a leader. You can be a follower. Follow the light. You don't always have to be the light. Okay, guys. Bye.